The life and work of Ernst Ludwig Kirchner. Ernst Ludwig Kirchner was born in Bavaria in Aschaffenburg in Germany on May 6 of 1880. His parents were of Prussian descent and his mother was a descendant of the huge knot, a fact to which Kirchner often referred. Kirchner's family moved frequently because of his father's job. His parents were supportive of his art career but wanted him to finish his education. Because of this, Kirchner studied architecture at the Royal Technical University of Dresden. While attending classes, he became close friends with Fritz Bleil, who shared his radical outlook on art and nature. During this time at university, Kirchner decided to dedicate his time to developing his artistic skills rather than working on architecture. And then, 1905, Kirchner and Bleil, as well as fellow architecture students Carl Schmidt, Rotloff, and Eric Hegel, founded the artist group De Brook, or The Bridge. Kirchner's introduction to the vibrant work of Norwegian expressionist painter Edward Munch drove him to simplify his shapes and brighten his colors. The purpose of the bridge movement was to avoid traditional styles of art and instead focus on motifs of the past and new and experimental ideas. The bridge used vibrant and unnatural colors to express emotions. The group challenged societal norms by allowing casual lovemaking as well as unity in their studio. The book ended with Ernst, Ernst's publishing of Brook Chronicle or the Bridge Chronicle. The Bridge Chronicle focused on freedom of life and the movement against the long established older focus forces. After that, Kirchner aspired to establish his own creative personality. He grew fascinated by industrialization and the sense of isolation that people in cities experience. He progressively switched his emphasis away from the female nude and onto the Berlin streets with the publication of the Strassen Builder series in 1950. These paintings focus on the vivid life of modern Berlin as he viewed the evolving political events of World War I and their effects on German culture. Kirchner depicted groups of people with powerful expressive brushstrokes and vivid colors like blue, green, orange, and pink. Kirchner enlisted in the military wingly in 1915 but was discharged soon after he experienced a mental breakdown. He got addicted to morphine and alcohol, which would follow him for the rest of his life. He went to a mental hospital in the Swiss Alps for help. And in Davos, Switzerland, the cold, dry air was thought to be therapeutic. Kirchner's health improved and he eventually moved into a Davos house that also served as his studio. He relocated to a farmhouse in the Alps near Davos in 1918, scarred by his combat experience in his new home, inspired a series of alpine landscapes, with exhibits in Switzerland and Germany in the 1920s. His reputation as a prominent German expressionist grew even further. Kirchner was elected to the Prussian Academy of Arts in 1931, and his fame grew. In 1933, however, German Nazis branded Kirchner as a degenerate artist, forcing him to resign from the Berlin Academy of Arts. More than 600 of his works were taken or destroyed by the Nazi regime. The effect of these events on Kirchner led to his suicide on July 15, 1938.